Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and as you can see I am surrounded by robot parts which does make me very happy. Um, but I am surrounded by robot parts because I have five nights now to complete six robot builds before Hybrid World which is ARC's big uh, event for the year. So at the back I have two different beetles and then along the front we have for ant weights, all of which you have seen before in actual fact. Um, but I'm just going to quickly touch on each of them and what all what we're going to do with them and then we're going to get straight into some builds, get all of these guys up and running uh, and go from there. So uh, first up we have Annie Are You OK? which is uh, my beetle weight undercutter inspired by crippling depression and very recently I have picked up some hard ox weaponry for it and this stuff is so, so cool. I have two different designs. I have a disc and a bar. And those two designs are going to be used for different opponents depending on uh, who I'm fighting and when. So we need to get this guy fully up and running. We need to uh, do motor mounts and all of that kind of stuff. Get this guy actually together and ready to fight. We have uh, our toaster bot breakfast, or my toaster bot breakfast, which at the moment is uh, dead inside. Nothing is screwed together. I kind of have been pinching pieces out of breakfast for a little while now, so we need to put all of that stuff back on here and improve the wheels, because last time we tried to fight breakfast, the wheels did not work very well at all. So this time around, we're going to make sure all of that stuff happens. Uh, so that's my two beetle weights. Then we have, this is a party, my little vertical uh, 150 gram spinner, which is going to get brand new wheels that are the right color. So it all matches up and also hard ox weapons as well. So hard ox, for those of you who don't know, hard ox is a form of steel. It's a toughened form of steel. And it is uh, what some of the 110 kilo robots use as both armor and weapons. So we're in good stead uh, using hard ox. Uh, so this guy's probably well going to start in actual fact, I think, in terms of doing work because he needs the least amount of work. He basically just needs uh, some Loctite on some different various bolts around, a weapon switch out, and a top cover, and then those wheels switched out. And then we're all good, ready to go from there. Uh, continuing on down the line, we then have Disguise, who is going to go back into the non-destructive league. Uh, completely as is, I'm not going to change anything on Disguise, I know it has a big flaw, I don't care, I just want to fight it more, because uh, it is so much fun to drive. Um, then we have uh, Blind Spot, which is my dustpan robot, this is an iteration of uh, that design, this one was a little overweight, because I kind of went overboard on some of the things I was trying to do here, uh, so this is going to get an upgrade and update, so that everything is a little bit uh, lighter, and better overall. Um, and that's going to go into 2v2s. And then finally, I have another ant weight of some description, which I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm either going to use uh, something like this, which is a rubber version of Microdot. Uh, however, these front tines don't really touch the ground very well. Or we're going to get another weapon bot up and running, whether it be make like a tree, my ring spinner, or uh, don't need roads, my drum spinner. But that is going to be end of the week stuff. I don't really uh, have any plans for that right now. It's going to be a whatever I've got time for at the end. Because if it's if I don't have time, then we're just going to slap some components inside this rubber shell, and we're going to move on with everything else and get that into the arena. Uh, but if I do have time, I'll get those weapons up and running, and we'll have those ready to go. So. Uh, we can put Disguise aside. Disguise is ready to go. I think we just need to charge the batteries on this guy, and he is up and running. Um, yeah, then we'll move over to This Is A Party, and then I think we'll sweep back through the uh, the beetle weights, and then we'll hit up the other ant weights down the front. So, let's get started.
That's all I had time for. It got to a point where it was 1.30 on Friday night. Annie, are you okay? My undercutter uh, was in pieces. The electronics I had just put together and one of the ESCs wasn't working. Uh, and I needed to be up really early the next day to go out to the event and actually uh, yeah, help out with safety checks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so Annie was in pieces, but the other five robots were up and running. And that is where we leave the, uh, the end of this video. Obviously, I am going to do uh, some videos on Hybrid World itself, the big event. It is going to be over two videos, though, one in Betaway and one in Antweight, just because there is so much stuff to cover. I really don't want to put out an hour-long video going through everything. I'd rather kind of cut and paste it and make it into two little videos that are one's beetle and one's ant. So that's going to be the next two weeks uh, is going to be the coverage from this event. And I'm now at the other side of it and I can tell you there are some really big hits and some really good fights in there. So uh, hopefully I will see you guys next week for some interesting fights. And uh, yeah, I think we'll start with the beta weights. 
So I will see you then.